Hey, hey guys, guys welcome, welcome back, back to another episode of r and And today, we're going to turn this space right here into a bed bench. Don't mind the backyard. We're working on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what's the first step then? First step, we got to prep the area. Let's move this. So I'm now I'm going to take out the baseboard so I can frame up the whole section. You're going to need a sharp utility knife. Got to cut this up. You want to just score the baseboard. Why you can just leave the baseboard on there? Because it'll get in the way. Because I'm going to put a piece of 2x4 here. And this is going to be a gap. Unnecessary gap. You don't need that. Mm -hmm. okay. So you don't want to do just cut all around. You want to cut all the caulking. And you didn't want to do this. Because when you go and take a pry bar and pry this baseboard off. You don't want the paint to come off with it. came off clean that's why you want to use a knife and you're taking the nails out of the wood because i don't want anybody to step on the nails while you measure it so i can put a piece of two by four right there robbie is cutting something he wants me to record i don't really know what's going on Okay, what's this you record? You cut the the frame piece. And you have to measure it to see how high up you want it to be with all your material and everything. Yep. All right, now I'm gonna use a nailer. You can use a screw gun to put these two by fours together, but I'm gonna use a nailer because it's faster. That's that's pretty loud. Should you be wearing earmuffs or goggles? It's not that loud. Well, yeah, you can. You okay? Mm-hmm. You sure? Yeah, just covering my ears. You can point it up like that. Yeah. And what you're doing now, leveling it? Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. You nailed it to the wall. So why aren't all the pieces equidistant from each other? Because I'm doing everything every 16 inches. All right, guys. While Rihanna's doing her own thing, I'm taking over the camera. Right now, we just got the frame up with the front piece. I'm going to put some 2x4s right along this wall so I hit the studs. So you see those lines so I can get some good anchor points. I'm gonna cut up that piece of plywood right there. So it fits in that top area over here. We'll eventually get our upholstery and our fabric. And I think it's gonna be like two inches thick. And it's also gonna be some storage space. So it's gonna go like that. <laughs> Always wear some gloves. Yikes. Wear safety gear. Normally, I would just take that 2x4 and basically make frame it like a box, but I didn't want to waste about like 3.5 inches of space all around. And I also plan on moving that register, put it up here, and drywall the face of it so it blends in with that wall and that wall. I'm going to cut that plywood down to size and put it on top, and then we're going to go get some fabric. So we got the plywood piece in. So basically it'd be like this. 
we'll have the post tree on top of here. Then be able to lift it up. All right, I just put the vent in. Now I'll put some drywall along this section here. I'm just gonna add another piece of blocking over there so I don't have to find a different way to secure the drywall to it. Look like it's it's going good so far. Wow. So how much was the wood for the the bottom of it? How much was the wood? Like forty dollars. Forty dollars. We already have wood laying around, so. And we already had wood laying around. So what about that? We already had this this top piece laying around, right? Yeah, we already had plywood laying around too. So leave oh, a go like, ahead. comment down below. Let us know what you think about the the install so far. Let me know if I did stuff wrong. Like and subscribe. So you needed that second piece too that we already had for the vent. Yeah, but now I'm, I'm gonna need a piece. You gonna need a piece to connect them? Yeah. So we just came back from Joanne's. We got some upholstery foam. And how much was this? Uh, sixty something. Sixty dollars for that piece and another piece. For this foam piece. Like that. For upholstery foam. Yeah. This bag. It's basically how it's gonna go. Yeah. This batting gonna go right on top. It's gonna go on top. It's like this. It's gonna wrap around the seat. Now here's the fabric. Mmm. Beautiful, 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 beautiful fabric. This was thirty dollars per yard. We ended up getting three yards, but we only paid sixty for it because we yeah. had a coupon code. So yeah. not bad. Not bad at all. Like. But it's so beautiful. It's so soft. Alright, you're gonna see my collection in IKEA. It's gonna yeah. be selling for five hundred dollars. <laughs> We're actually home furniture for a thousand. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. Get and I get all of the profit. Cause this bed bench was my idea. It's soft up here, look. My foot. Yeah. Boy. Get the word. So now, you stapling it to it. Mm -hmm. Is there a different way to do it other than stapling it on there? Glue, but the only reason why I'm stapling it is because in case I make any mistakes. In case you make any mistakes? Yeah, I can just take it right off. Mmm. Now, what's the white thing for again? Just so when you put the fabric on, you won't see the foam and the sharp edges. Oh. Uh, mmm. Looking good so far. I think that's the perfect height for yeah. it. That's why, that's, why. that's why I told you to do it like that. No. Hey there. Another stapler? That's another stapler? Yeah. That's the stapler. It's super low. Oh, wow, that's super loud. So make sure I'm, I guess I'm hitting it, it pulls the fabric closer. Any help? Nope. You try to make sure it's centered? Yep. You gotta make sure it's nice and stretched. Yeah. You gotta make sure that corner tight. I know. Like they were saying. When you do this, tucking the corners are the difficult part. Yeah, you got it. Right now, I'm just winging it. Stop saying that. You know what you're doing. All the staples. All the staples. So if you don't already have your own tools, do not attempt to do this yourself. <laughs> it's a hammer. Mm -hmm. You don't have a gun? Nope. Oh, uh, why not? Stay my mind, man. I was like, what would Rayon do? 
I would use what I have. Why are you spacing the staples out more? So I can go back in and staple it closer. Now, this is a more professional stapler, right? You can't just use a regular stapler, can you? Or this you one? can. Yeah. This is, a, this is a basic stapler. Oh. The Never more mind. The one would be the one where you connect to your air, your air compressor. Oh. The way you put it. And that's the way you want to put it that way? Yeah. Uh, now you're about to put compound on it, right? Yep. Yeah, to fill in these joints. Beginner. You're not a beginner. Yes, I am. I just started putting compound this year. Really? Yeah. Well, no, you didn't. Well, I mean, no, I didn't, but. Don't look like no beginner to me. Because you don't know what you're looking for. Have some confidence in yourself. You know what you're doing. Oh, you just compounding the holes in the cracks? Yeah. Get to working, boy. Want to try? Nah. I know you did such a good job today, baby. Oh, I take it back. <laughs> so, how many coats of the compound do you have to do? Um, hopefully, this could just be one. Hopefully, you don't know. No, I don't know. Oh my god. It just dries differently. All this stuff dries differently. Cause that over there, that dry like a ghost. What? That look like a ghost. That one. Huh. Now we wait for the compound to dry. Oh. I've been doing this. When we were trying to figure out where to put the vent, we should have been thought about this, but the vent is not exactly centered with the wall, so it wouldn't have been centered with this part of it, and I didn't like that look. So now he, he's going to take out these pieces of wood and redo it a little so that we can center the vent. Basically, the vent was going to have to go like right here. And that's not the center. It should go in the center so it, it just looks a little better like that. And move these two by fours over so that he could put the vent in the center. Alright, so Robbie made drawn outline of the decorative trim we're gonna do. But anyway, he moved the two by four from the center. Can y'all see that? So remember it was in the center, he moved it. He moved it over there. You just move one over there? Well, I got rid of the second one. Oh, he got rid of the second one. Anywho. Yeah. Now he's trying to put the vent in the center. He's cutting for the vent. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's so lovely. Wow, is that a perfect fit? Better. Oh, wow, baby, wow. That's it, we're going to small leave it like that. Wow, baby, that looks so good and beautiful yeah, yeah, and we, centered. We were planning to put it here, but I was like, that's too much work for the duckwork, so. And uh, it's too in the way. So, Robbie did the ducting, and he was worried because it's such a sharp angle, but it looks like it's going to work out. He cut, what is this piece called? Duct. The duct? How much was that? I think it was like ten dollars. He cut that duck. It was ten dollars to make that middle piece. We already had this piece, and we already had that piece, so I don't know how much it was. So normally, you know, we would see how the duck's already off center. Normally, it would be easier to just go straight, but to make it more pleasing to the eye, we had to make sure it was center. Yeah. With the bed bench. I think this is called a window seat. Okay, a window seat. I think we call it the wrong thing. Oh, it's alright. The vent? It's about $13. Oh, yeah. Now you're using this silver tape. Aluminum tape? Aluminum tape. I've been had this. Oh. Taping around the duct. So this is... The box? The trim piece? The trim piece is that Robbie cut. For the box. Each angle is 45 degrees. And what did you use to cut it? I use a miter saw, but you can use a one hand saw like this. All right. And do it by hand if you like. The wood piece Robbie bought. He bought two of them. They're nine foot. It was 24 something for these. For these two pieces of wood. Yeah. That's nine feet like this. Yeah. Mm.
This DIY stuff is expensive. Now, Robbie is sanding down the wall and stuff yeah. to make it smooth. He's going to do that for this. That's just drying the compound that he had to add right there. Robbie is putting the molding yeah, there you go. back inside. There you go. But, wait. What? How are you going to put it in there? I'm going to nail it. What was that? What's the compressor doing? Oh. It's coming along. Just need some paint. Robbie is sealing stuff. So it looks better when I paint everything. He's sealing it with. What is that? Caulk. Oh. Caulk. Caulk. You caulked the inside? You oh wow, you caulked and sealed the inside. Mm. Now you seal it right there. Oh, he started to paint. You have 20 minutes already passed by? I don't know why. That's, that's, that's how the caulking should be turned in. To find detail work, it takes the longest time. Look at me now. <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you guys think. Now Robbie's going to nail down this. What is it called? This bright silver metal piece? This trim piece. This trim piece. So that when you close the cushion, you don't see this wood and it looks more clean and straight. Okay guys, so this is the final look. It looks nice. And he added this shoe molding. So do you remember how much the trim the gray trim piece was? $15. And how much was the shoe molding? $10. And as you can see, plenty of room for a few people to sit on it. Now the cushion when you first sit on it it feels soft, but after a while it feels a little hard. So you may want to get a different type of cushion or something like that. This one works, but it's not the best. Look at how you decorated it. Oh yeah. This throw is from at home. I think it was $15. We already have these pillows. I don't know if we're going to get different pillows or not, but these are here for now. You going to tell them about the hanging plants that I got you for Valentine's Day? Oh, and we're probably going to put a couple hanging plants right here. We're actually going to go to the store for some now. But, yeah, that's it. Alright. Uh, let us know what you guys think about this build. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. Peace out. Stay healthy.